excellent what, what what an incredible artistic video it really is art can I can I just can we go back to my favorite part this part right here where they operate the menu I think that's like the creator of Zelda 2 whatever his name is is that Koizumi Koizumi san I love that part this video is beautiful I uh, yeah, we're gonna play a little more Ocarina. I actually couldn't hear that video, fun fact. When you fucking just directly insert a video into uh, OBS, it's like, oh, the, you don't wanna hear that, no. Put an option for you to be able to hear it? No, no, don't be crazy, you'll never wanna hear it. I don't really know why, but whatever. I guess it's for if people put up like a little fucking animation of their, like, VTuber self dancing or something, I don't know. Uh, okay, gonna boot up my Wii. It had a yellow light on it, what does that even... I thought I only did that while it was, like, resetting, but okay. Here we are. Um, you guys will be able to hear the game so soon. Actually, you may be able to hear the game now. I can hear the game now. Okay, yeah, you guys can too. Uh, by the way, I will give the source for that video, as I usually do, uh, in the description of the VOD. But the title is in Japanese, so I don't even know. I can't even read it out loud. Sorry. It's very nicely done, though. I, I can't believe I went that long without seeing that. But I just stumbled upon it the other day when I was looking for Ocarina of Time music. And by the way, what I ended up using for last stream's intro was from an album I've had for a while now. I think I actually bought the CD of it, like, years ago. But it, I think it's Hyrule Symphony, Ocarina of Time reorchestrated or something like that. And it's just, like, insanely fucking high quality remakes with an actual orchestra of Ocarina of Time music. It's pretty fucking good. If anyone was curious. Very good. Very nation. Berry and smell. I have no idea if it was official or not. It must have been official. Because it had, like, all the, like, logos and shit all over it. Probably has the Nintendo insignia as well. Why am I in Kokiri Forest? I'm like looking at my items. We have we have all the items that we had. Does it just by default put you back here? It's kind of weird. But I guess we're gonna do a little bit of rolling. Shit. I didn't want to talk to you, I wanted to roll. I, uh... Why did it spawn me back here? I'm kind of... Does anybody know why it did that? Is, does it always do that? That seems kind of weird. Because I definitely saved and quitted in, uh... In Kakariko. Uh, but, yeah. We gotta give the letter to the guy at the gate. 
which I, I sort of bumbled around for a little bit in Kakariko and never found him, but I think it should be simple enough to figure out where he is. Hey! Uh, hey, what do you want to bet this is useless fucking information? What would Saria say if we told her we're going to save Hyrule? Yep. I don't know, probably some floaty fucking hipster shit. I imagine Saria as being like a hipster chick, you know? Is that weird? It's because of like the high-waisted pants, I think, that all Kokiri have. Or like the weird shorts. Wow, I can barely fucking see on my actual TV. I have to like look at my computer screen. <laughs> I think it's just clearly a hard barrier where if you walk past it, he starts automatically walking in. Alright, it's nighttime now. Wasn't there... I, I need to go to the graveyard because it's nighttime. We might as well... We might as well fuck around with Dompe and, uh... All that shenanigans. So yeah, I tried to... I've talked in the past about how the word torture gets caught by the go live notification and they say it conflicts with Twitch's auto moderation policy. Or whatever, or moderation policy. Is this the way? Must be. Uh... And today, I, the title of the stream is... <clears throat> and then in uh, asterisks, bit crushed sword clang sound. And bit crushed got detected. They said, yeah, no, you can't post this. It says bit crushed. I figured out by process of elimination, just deleting words and trying it again, that it was, oh, look, bugs. This is just like Half-Life 1. Uh, I think it thought the word bit crushed was like a horrible misspelling of the word bitch. Look, at, it's, it's, it's the guy. Don't My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. His, like, little race thing was annoying, I remember. Don't pay the gravekeeper's hard pounding grave digging. Heart pounding grave digging tour. Hard? Hard pounding from Dompe? Do you want me to dig here? Sure. I forgot. What, what is this digging? I guess this is kind of. This is like the shovel in. Link to the Past. Or did that start in Link's Awakening? I think it was in Link to the Past. Okay, but I gotta give this a tug. Because the, the little kid says, oh, Dompe will whoop your ass, but then actual Dompe doesn't give a shit. I think this is his, like, minigame thing, right? Maybe? Look at these fucking bones. Just actual fucking bones. I wonder what animal those are supposed to be of. Looks like fucking Grulovia bones. I got a Hylian shield, hell yeah. I'll take that. That was gonna cost all but one of my cents at the store, because I think they're 80 to buy. What, what kind of skull? It looks like they got maybe uh, four eye sockets there. Weird. It doesn't seem like they're the same bones that we encounter in Hyrule Field, which I also don't know. Right, I always thought it was weird that you just like sort of look up into the light to get out of there. It's like, uh, okay. It's very Mario, uh, Mario 64. Almost said Sunshine, but... It technically happens in Sunshine, but in Sunshine it was a reference to 64. So, let's see. Um, I also, I think, can't I do something here? Royal Family's Tomb. Let's, I think it's like you stand on this thing. <laughs> That's a totally unrelated song. Hold on. I need to remember how to play uh, the, the, the one song that I know. Can I... Let me just look in the menu. So I think it tells you. Side up, right. Or left up, right, left up, right. Okay. Because that's like the... A, that's the one song I know, and B, I remember there's there's like something to do when you stand on that specific spot. And it's like the royal family insignia. I'm glad that fucking worked. I think this is how you get the sun's song, right? 
<laughs> Was that the eyes of one of the ghosts? Kind of didn't look like them. <laughs> Destruction of property. Shit. Oh, right. It even, like, says, because Navi zoops towards it. Good. I just, like, remembered that from my first playthrough vaguely. Okay, look at all these bones. This is like the Dark Wraith's dungeon in Dark Souls 3. Uh, what do you gotta say about these bones, Navi? Can I... Can you... No? Oh, thanks a lot, Navi. Nope, Navi's just freaking out, I guess. There was no, like, text. Uh, alright. No, oh, I need to hit some... Oh, maybe I need the fire arrows for this. Hold on. Let me kill this dickhead. Oh, shit. I'm gonna be honest, it was, like, so crusty that I didn't even realize he was attacking me. Great. Z-targeting in this game is not the best. Should I just slingshot him? Does that work? Oh my god, that insta-kills him. Yeet. That's a lot easier. So, what do we got here? Anything on fire? Hmm. Hmm. So I can't- I don't think I can actually open this door. She's probably just gonna say it needs its fucking switch. Yeah. Thank you, Navi. Okay. And I don't think I have any sort of item that gives me fire. I don't think Deku Nuts do that shit, so I guess, uh... Are we done here? Look at- this is just a human skeleton! With a huge nose hole! Hold on, let's kill this fucker and see if something, like, happens. Um, why is Navi obsessed with that one pile of bones? Literally, like, what is happening there? Get the fuck out of here. You have no idea how much I wanted to hear. Actual realistic skeleton. Oh shit, wait, is there another one? I've still got my hopes up. You can't, like, look around easily in this game either. Okay, up there. Oh, you can go into first person view and then Z target from there. I actually had no idea you could do that. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay, Navi. What do you- what is the hard-on that you have for this pile of bones here? There's just like this one random femur. Where Navi's like licking it. The fuck? <laughs> oh shit, re-deads before we're supposed to like really see him. I mean, supposed to, what am I saying? Before, like, the big infamous moment with them. I kind of forget. You, you, like, wiggle the stick, right? Something like that? I'm just gonna take a little cut through there. I don't really remember this dungeon in the slightest. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Or at least that part of it. No, this is where you get the sun song. I remember this. Okay. Any, any secrets? <laughs> no! <laughs> Turns out. Uh... Hold on. Do I need to just, like, inspect or something? There we go. I was like, I'll play the notes that are pre presented on there, and then I was like, they don't have C buttons labeled. <laughs> on the little inscription. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family, Mario and Luigi. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. What? Who? A newborn's life will fade? Are they talking abstractly about, like, the day? Or is that literally talking about... Whoa. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. It's an interesting poem. That Z-targeting strat that I figured out is... I feel like that's gonna help so fucking much. Because I always was just like... Time to just spam trying to get Z-Target to work while it just doesn't work on, like, airborne enemies and shit. Still kind of awkward, but, like... Things like that and, like, the spin slash, like, the quick spin slash, it's like, bruh. 
I wish I'd fucking known that my first playthrough. One of the, uh... Actually, this is- but this is not- I always thought this one sounded so similar to, the, to another one. The Song of Storms. But no, this one sucks. And that's the one that plays at the beginning of every day. It's like kind of a useless song, honestly. I feel like I ended up using this- Maybe there's like one puzzle. Maybe if we had come here before going to uh, Hyrule Castle, we could have used it with like the, uh, the chicken puzzle, maybe? And there might be one other puzzle in the game where you need to do like something during a specific time. But I feel like I never actually used it, but it's cool to have. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it. We don't even talk to the Composer Brothers. I, I think there's a room in Majora's Mask that's like a tomb. Should I just play it here? Because I, I was like, don't the ghost guys come out? Let's try this real quick. Because I feel like I remember the ghosts like come out and talk to you, but that might be in Majora's Mask. Okay. Sad. I don't know, maybe if you played like Zelda's Lullaby or some shite. Uh, okay. What? Oh. I thought that was like a little enemy, but it's just bones. I kind of brute forced my way through this segment earlier, didn't I? <laughs> Kunk. I, uh, forgot there's quarter hearts of damage in this game. What? What do you want? Okay, well that was cool. All right, uh... Can I tug these by any chance? No. This is just for reading. All right. Uh, okay, we kind of got sidetracked here because it was nighttime. I'm glad we did that, though. That was... Again, this playthrough has been going so much more fucking smoothly than the last one. It's That's always how it goes with, like, multiple playthroughs of something. And, like, I'm sure I'll get stuck in some temple later on. I remember there were a couple of temples where... I just was going around in circles for fucking hours. Because I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do. And then it turned out there was like some hidden like eyeball switch up on some like obscure wall. And I was like, okay. Sag. Okay, I think, I remember it was like up to the, uh, this is the way to like the graveyard, maybe just some houses. Let's try over here. Ah, yeah, this is where to go. I should have tried talking to the skeleton. Maybe that was the thing. This guy's got dick sucking lips. Oh, I need to actually show him the note. Look at his fucking compression shorts, too. He's barely wearing pants. I know Princess Zelda's handwriting for some reason. This is smell. <laughs> Just seems like she's being rude. Wahaha. Ha. Wah. Secret Waluigi. Wow, he's fucking magic. Made the gate open just by doing doing a clang with his thing. <clears throat> yeah. Ooh, I just got the uh, Hyrule Shield and I didn't even, even equip it. I should do that. Yep, I can't skip this for some reason. I've been trying to skip it with B the whole fucking time. I don't expect you- oh right, this is like a dumb side quest. Happy Mask Shop. He wants like the Pikachu mask because he's a huge Pokemon fan. I hate how this is unskippable. Do speedrunners just have to sit here through all of this? Sigh. By the way, someone said, uh... Someone said the water temple isn't that bad. And let me just, without words, tell you why you're wrong. 
There you go. That's the reason. I hope I hope that that was I hope that that was more I hope that portrayed it better than words ever could. Oh shit, it's Tektites! Damn, they get fucking dismembered too. Yeah, I'm not gonna pay that guy the fucking time of day, by the way. I wanna do this. I mean, do I need to do- get his fucking Pikachu mask, or what? Try, uh, I think the slingshot is, like, not terribly effective on most enemies. It's basically just shitty arrows. Great. Die. <laughs> I- see- okay, Z-targeting. For the love of God. Did the music get, like, sinister when I started taking damage? Is that a feature? Oh! Ready to hear this sound a million times? Oh no, this guy's- <laughs> There he goes. I was like, he's just not gonna give me the time of day. Never mind. Look at his little soul patch. Ah, uh, he looks like Guy Fieri. I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. We're the most based Zelda race. Right, so with, I, I was getting a little confused earlier. We do Dodongo's Cavern now and uh, Fire Temple later. I, I, they're just very similar looking places. I kind of thought we did Jabu Jabu next, but I guess that's the last one before we have the time transition. <sighs> On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. I remember the part where you have to, like, isn't there a part where you have to get the fire armor and you, like, don't have it yet or something? And there's, like, a time limit of how long you can stay around the volcano without fucking burning to death? It's an interesting spot. Oh, Goron City. I've got the music stuck in my head just reading those words. Over, up, up, over, over. Up, over, up, over, over. Bim, 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 bim. Don't enter without permission. I need a bomb for that. Bim, 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 bim. Wow, exactly what I wanted. Ba -ba -ba. This reminds me of one part of Tall Tall Mountain. Anyone else? That one part where you're going around the corner and there's just a few fucking shitty Goombas there? I love the Gorons! They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain, and she screams at visitors for no reason. Go in there and she'll just go like, Blah! Hell yeah. I think, can't speedrunners, like, juke this part? I feel like I've seen speedrunners juke this part and get to that little hole up there. Early. Or is that the big Goron? That might be the big Goron. Or the Biggerin, as they call him. I'm standing! Bomb flowers, right. Uh, I kind of don't care about bomb flowers. I know how they work. Also, doesn't it, like, I know they just have, like, pure black eyes and there's just light shimmering on them. But if you imagine the little white dots on their eyes to be their pupils, <laughs> they look pretty funny. I feel like that's a classic, like, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Uh, the, like, witches, how they have little, like, cheek blush, and if you imagine it as their eyes, they look really derpy. Because the light inside is very dim, the bomb flowers, a plant unique to this mountain, grow like crazy in there. It's lore. Although... There's also one just growing right out here. <gasps> Can I not pick it up? What? For real? I guess I need, like... Don't I need... 
some special like Goron gloves or some shit. I kind of forgot. Do I need to hit it? Maybe. Actually, hold on. That noise. Sad. Okay. Sage. Uh, Andrew and I were kind of looking into getting. Uh, oh, what's his name? Gilbert Gottfried to, to say something vulgar for us. I saw the one about him talking to Mr. Beast about Mr. Beast Burger and about how he's been fucking the burger for the past 20 minutes and it makes a better fleshlight than food. <laughs> and, and that was the moment that I realized Gilbert Gottfried will literally say anything. Maybe not literally, he probably won't shout racial epithets, but uh... Like, holy fuck. He will say anything. So I'm feeling like we need to- and Andrew looked it up and you only need to pay him 175 bucks to like p say some shit like that. I was like, damn, I just want to get him saying Sag. Or something. Or like- or, or like, well, thanks for watching, great fruit tubers! Or something. And then Sag, just so I can like insert it in everywhere. Speaking of insert, this uh, this- this map looks like a long skinny horse dick. Anyway, let's go into the city. Yeah! It's the best music. <laughs> I'm so hungry! We eat rocks! We are idiots! Make him say medic gaming. Yeah, no, it's- it's- it's a very specific type of rock that they eat. The most delicious and nutritious rocks are found in the Dong Cavern. <laughs> Twilight Princess had, like, such a fucking amazing version of this song, too. It's like the Gorons when they're at the height of their power, so it's got, like, snare drum and, like, horns and shit. Whereas here, it's kind of pathetic. And in Majora's Mask. The Gorons are always getting fucked. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from the Dong Cave. Yep. Yep. Oh, look, it's Mr. Game & Watch. Oh, 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 meat cave. Is this gonna, like, sink or something? These... These blocks, you, like, play a certain song for them. It's not Zelda's Lullaby, right? Nope. I think, like, you can tell when it's, like, an event where you're supposed to play the ocarina because it'll, like, play a little sound. It'll be like, da-da-da! Right, the Goron that's just constantly rolling! Holy shit. Um, can't get in here yet. Was that Epona's song? Oh, God. It totally was. Right, I think it would still play the song. I'm just collecting rupees like a madman, even though I'm at max. But I still... Okay, I played the wrong song, but I still also think that uh, it, it has a little confirmation thing where it goes -da -da -da, when you're doing the right, when you're on the right track. So I remember walking along these ropes and trying to get into that thing in the middle for so fucking long when it was like spinning around. But I think that's actually like kind of useless to do. This guy's gonna say, hey, you're a pretty special guy for getting here. It's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. Yeah, hell yeah, I will. If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat the red stone. Well, too bad. I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. I love the, the idea that they're guarding the sacred artifact and they are constantly tempted to eat it. <laughs> he literally licked it. Wow. Big Brother, right, he's like the badass guy. That's not the same badass Gerudo that we see in- or Goron, rather. <laughs> Slowpoke, Snorlax, it's happening again. It's not the really badass one we see in Breath of the Wild, right? Daruk, or whatever. Daruk's protection is ready to roll! I'll wait here for the royal family's messenger. 
Okay, that's me. Yeah. Okay, that's where the stone used to be. Um, look at them dancing. Oh my god, they're having a little fucking hoopla down there. I think the guy's room is down here. And I don't think there's actually a point to going inside the vase. It's like an angry, indignant pog. Uh, and then there's also... I know these bomb flowers, I'll need to like blow shit up eventually, but... I can't yuck them out of the ground yet. I need the, the big boy gloves, as someone so eloquently put it. Which might mean I need to turn into a big boy, I don't exactly remember. And I, I, I mentioned this the other stream, but... I don't mind a little bit of like, you know, if I'm stuck and I like ask for advice, please by all means let me know. But, uh... I would appreciate if you guys could let me bumble around with some of the puzzles and shit in this, too. People have been pretty good about it so far this stream, I just want to mention. What's a forest, eh? Trees and plants sounds fucking gay! <laughs> I only like rocks. We don't have seeds or nut. But you have seen sticks. Say to put it away before it completely burns. Yeah, because you re you really need to conserve Deku sticks in this game. Actually, can you like quick kill bosses with them? I hid a stick somewhere. He he. Uh huh. But right here, you better be here and not up your ass, dude. Okay, thank God. I wonder if that's a scripted drop. That's always the same thing. Cause I feel like some of them are random. Maybe not. All the rocks outside were. Uh, Hold on. You sure I can't do anything with these? No. Maybe I need to, like, just light it on fire. Oh. I think this is Big Boy's room. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying- Yep, yep, yep. So I need to go play the song. Oh, right, and this guy, like, jams out with his clam out when he play the song, too. Uh... Well, I, I keep thinking of Pona's song. Na, na, no. That one. There we go. <laughs> Good. Alright. This is the guy that jams out. I love this dude. Speak. What the heck? Who are you? Is this Daruk? He looks a hell of a lot like him, but he is just, you know, going on. Again, look at the eyes. He look- Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. Oh, by the way, the person who just put in, like, the- the inputs for Zelda's lullaby, for instance, we could probably cool it with that. Anybody fucking know where I'm going with this? This- this is an oldie, man. Look at his face, alright? <laughs> this little- the shine on his eyes looks like the pupils pointing in different directions. <laughs> He's the epic Megusta face. It's perfect. Okay. You're just a little kid. Has Darunia? The big Darunia. Darunia Daruk, that's why I got him mixed up, I bet. Now I'm really angry. Oh. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood? Our people are literally starving and dying. Yeah, I already know. We had a poor harvest of bomb flowers. Is that implying that, like, all the bombs in Hyrule, all the floors in Hyrule, all the bombs in Hyrule come from bomb flowers and, like, the Gorons manufacture them to not just blow up instantly? Never really picked up on that. Uh, don't I like just playing the song? Uh... Actually, no. Uh, ch Hmm. Chat? Do I- What do I do here? Because I remember I play him the music and he dances, but I think it might be a song I don't have, or do I just do Zelda's lullaby again? Because he already heard it from outside. Um, and then... I don't think there's anything behind him. He's holding... Is he holding a spear? No, there's just a spear sticking out of the wall. Saria's song? Do I even... 
have that actually unlocked, though? I think I only have Zelda's Lullaby and Sun's Song. Shit. I, I, I didn't actually, like, there's, there's a different encounter with Saria. Fuck. Can I unlock the shortcut back to the forest? Because it was blocked by a big rock. I do remember that connects to here, but, uh... I can't... Maybe, uh, maybe with a, uh... Yeah, I, I remember where the thing is. Don't worry. Well, roughly. I mean... I, I mean, I, I knew there was something to do in the Lost Woods. That's why I kind of immediately went in there at the beginning, but I, I didn't actually end up getting the song. Here we are. Uh, maybe I can just... No. Look at this. Um... I don't know what the fuck to do here. I'm sure chat will inform me. Someone just has been saying stab the bomb the whole time, but I don't think I can do that. And I don't see any torches around. Maybe I need to, uh, like, chain burning torches together from, like, far away. Actually, no, I totally remember this. That's, that's absolutely what you need to do. Do I need to take it all the way from down there? I don't think there's one, uh... I, I, I don't think there's fire anywhere else but at the very bottom. If it was at the top, that would be nice, because I could just drop down. Fuck, I guess that would make it... that would make it too easy. Nice. Slick strat! Slick strat! Slick strat! Fuck you. What? Okay. So, let's... let's do sticks. <laughs> the crust when you, like, open up the menu. Eey. Alright. That's why the guy told me how to conserve. I should, like, establish where I'm actually going with this. There's not really, really a point to conserving it before I actually touch the thing, though. Okay, and now... Did I do it? I did it. Okay. And I think, does it, like, reset the timer for how long the thing is, uh, burning? Or how long the thing can burn? I bet it does. And I can now probably blow those up, too. But I'm gonna... Obsessively get all of these. Because I'm being told that it does not reset. Or, oh wait, do they only burn for a limited amount of time? Shit. I think they might only burn for a limited amount of time. Let's just go. Huh. Nice. Oh. What? Okay, weird. I don't know why it played the... But it ding sound. It was like, you're close. You are close. Oh, nice. I don't even have to blow myself up with it. Okay, that was... I remember that being CBT the first time I played this. Probably because I missed that Goron telling me the hot tip. I remember that being so much more annoying. It's this fucker. Good to see you again. After going through the Lost Woods, you'll come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. I remember, like, the place where you shoot the target and you climb down and you fight the, uh, the little Deku scrubs. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune, too. Right, and that's how you, that's how you learn how to play this song. It's kind of neat. I mean, fucking Darunia, if you just walked out like, 20 feet in your fucking room, you could hear this funky tune. But no, I need to go do all this shit so that we can, uh, tell him again. Or we can play it for him in his room, rather. Don't tell me again. Follow your ears and also there's a distinct visual cue. <clears throat> of if the thing- I guess the visual cue is only if it will, like, take you back or not. Okay, hey, look at that. Didn't really plan on doing that today, but I guess it ended up happening. Uh, it's the ones without a light at the end of the tunnel. Nope, never mind. I should have should have been able to tell because the music was fading out. 
Yeah, look at that. We're playing this with headphones. Right, but the drums don't go away. All right, let's do it. Let's follow the music. And I never actually did this. Maybe I can I target this? Oh, shit. <laughs> can I lock onto this and I'm just being a big asshole right now? Because, oh my god, it's so hard to adjust this. Why? What is 30 about that? I don't think I can Z target. No. It's so fucking awkward to, uh. It's such an awkward process aiming minutely in this game. Oh, look at this. Oh, I remember this. Oh, this part's awesome. You get on the little stump and the little guy appears. Oh, this was like a magical fucking moment. Little, little, uh, little skull kids. They're just looking at me expectantly. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. Actually, is this where we learn Saria's song? No, this is a different song. Rhythm Heaven. Oh shit, I fucked up. <laughs> Do they give you anything? I'm gonna- I'm gonna assume they don't give you much of consequence. Maybe they do. But, like, I've already got full money. That's cute and all, but that- That just- every, uh, every attempt is gonna take so fucking long. I really don't care that much. Uh, that's not the way to go. And that's... not the way to go either. This is the way to go. Alright. Yeah, heart piece. That is that is something. That's kind of cool. It's pretty based, I guess, but uh, I'll skip it for now. But like, I've already got 99 rupees and all the other stuff I could ever need. Yeah, I think I think this is our goal. Oh, I'm thinking of the end credits song. Where Malone comes in or whatever. Whatever the fuck her name. Talone? I kind of forget, actually. Nope. Okay, I think we're at the end. Because there are lights at the end of the tunnels. Even the one that has music coming out of it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I remember this. I keep getting rupees. I need to, like, spend... That's the thing. Zelda money is so fucked. Don't you, like, n need to wait for these guys to do a specific move before you can attack them? Fuck. <laughs> I love Z-targeting. Yeah, don't target him. Don't target him, please. I hate when you target him. Yeah. Oh, right. Hyrule Shield is just turtling. Let me just do this. Try me, bitch. <laughs> I can't believe that works. <laughs> it's so, like, after playing Dark Souls, that approach feels so fucking counterintuitive. It's like, yeah, just anything will bounce off of your fucking... Oh. Did I do it? Shit. This was a bad idea. Oh, I did it. Oh, he's dead! Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. Holy fuck. Straight up killing those fools. I didn't know we actually killed them at any point. Aren't there, like, boulders running through here? Am I thinking of that other part where you get the sword? This was, uh, this was dumb of me. This, this is nothing. There's just pools of water here. Presumably just to, like, fuck with you. I don't know. Oh, I remember this. At the end of this, they, like, start rolling shit at you, I believe. Oh, right, I need Deku Shield for this. I guess, do I really? Do I really? Oh, 
Oh, right, this is the entrance to the forest temple. But we, I don't think we actually go in there until we're an adult. She doesn't doesn't she have like a uh, oh what what is the chick's name in Scott Pilgrim, Ramona? She has like Ramona energy. She's like yeah I dyed my hair. This is this is my this is my third color this month. I've been waiting for you, smell. <laughs> This place will be very important for both of us someday. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, boy. Don't do it. It's gay. Nice. I did it! Play it like way worse. Fucking, is there anybody out there who just goes duh, 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 duh. You know? I bet, I mean speedrunners, but like... You gotta play the song a little bit. When you want to hear my voice play Saria's song, you can talk with me anytime. <laughs> I love how he always stares at his ocarina like it just started speaking Latin to him. It's magic. Alright, bye, bitch. Uh, one of the ways that I got stuck in my first playthrough of this, by the way, was that I didn't realize that you could hook shot onto the fucking tree branch here. There's like a tree branch hanging above the entrance to the thing, and I didn't realize that that's what it wanted you to do with the hook shot. So I just fucking didn't. Do doesn't something start rolling down this path? Or am I thinking of Majora's Mask too there? Oh look, are there? Is there like a secret way back? Nice. I think I remember this too. Ba -ba -be -ba, ba -ba -be -ba -bo. Be -ba these guys up here. Uh, oh, shit. Well, I fucked up big time. I think... Oh, we saw... We clipped into the world there a little bit. <laughs> ah! This kind of sucks. Don't shoot me. Thank you. Uh... Can, can I... There you go. What are those stones for? You like teleport at them or something later? I know something happens. Okay. I love how there's like obviously some forced perspective shit going on with these logs too to make them look longer than they are. And when you get closer you're like, oh. <laughs> Imagine if we had to listen to the low health beep this entire time. Did you learn an ocarina song? Yep. Yep, cock. Yep, cock. Yeah, like the sun song that I already learned. If you hold the ocarina with C where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. Right, the, the little bar appears too. No. My goal is to get through this whole playthrough without listening to this guy's spiel again. Memorize those melodies. But we also wrote them down. Bruh. I think I can just, uh... GTFO. <clears throat> so we're going back to the Gobon village. Um, I want health. Let's fuck around in dark Kokiri forest. Oh, what? Is it the other side of town? The one that has the hearts on top of it? Fuck. Eh. Fuck it. 
Let's just go. Let's enjoy this beep together. Uh... Now here's the issue. No, I think it's near here. Yeah. Okay. Where can a fella get some, uh, where can a smart fella get a little bit of heart action going here? There you go. Deku stick once again. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just talk to this guy and then we'll do that shit. Hey, Link. Hey, Link. Thank you. Fucking Deku stick. Bruh. <laughs> yeah! Sticks for days! Sticks for days! Uh... I hope... Did I need to, like, target him? Shit. You want to talk to... Oh, no, 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 no. No. Let's, uh... I think he'll still tell me to fuck off. <clears throat> but let's... Yeah. He needs... To... Someone said Cheer Up Song has limited range. Yeah, he needs to be like a foot away from it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Best scene in the game, he starts Fortnite dancing. He's jamming out. He's like impaling himself on his spear too, but no worries. Oh, that beat! Come on! Come on! <laughs> hot! I love that camera angle. What a hot beat! That's so funny. Oh yeah! What a nice tune. And he's back to Megusta. <laughs> I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. <sighs> big boss, big boss. <sighs> Goron's ruby. Well, like Goron's booby, am I right? <laughs> Prove you're a real man. Hey, uh, how about- Pick up that fucking spear and go do something, bro. I think he actually does. You, like, meet him in the temple, if I recall correctly. Or in the cave. It's the big boy gloves. Little fella! Oh my god. <laughs> na -na -na -na. Oh, of course, power bracelet. What kind of dummy am I? Power bracelet. I guess, no, it was it was a glove in some of the games. And this, of course, is the Goron's bracelet, but whatever, we know it's the power bracelet. Okay. So I think I need to light these on fire still, but uh, I could take it from either of these torches, I guess. I guess I've exhausted that supply until I, like, re reload the area or something. Oh, both of them are lit now. I guess those are, like, cool scripted torches, and that's why they went... So I think that's the shop. I-I-R-C. Great. I always suck at doing that shit. I always, like, walk in circles around the fucking thing. I feel like when you move in this game, it, like, sets you on an angle. It, like, sets you on a curve, if that makes any fucking sense at all. And in order to actually turn sharply, you need to let go of the control stick. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but that's how it feels. Welcome. Uh, I can't afford that. Uh, red potions are almost never worth it, I feel like. They can be 
handy in a pinch, but I don't know. I need a bomb bag, right? God damn it. I'm sorry. That bomb's just for display. What? What a prick. Not only do I need a bomb bag, but those aren't even real fucking bomb- What an asshole! Don't have it on display if you don't have them in stock! Huh? Hmm? <laughs> what? What kind of backwards logic is that? Well, that's cool that we got the shortcut. Sh I didn't mean to do that. I just turned my cam- Fuck. So, yeah, let's go light up every fucking bomb door that we have, I guess. And, and also pick up rooted or grounded bomb flowers. Rooted. And I think... Actually, if you light all the torches, doesn't the... That's what makes the thing in the center start spinning, right? Or is it like you yeet a bomb into it? <laughs> I think it's when you light all the torches, it starts spinning around. And then you can, like, go into it or some shit like that. Hey. I remember for the longest time I tried getting into it when it started spinning around, and then I think I did, and then I was like, oh. Uh, alright. Well, there was a grounded bomb flower down there. Was there really only one other door that had that? The, like, ones that you light with the stick? Weird. Shit. Throw it. THROW IT! You have to be moving for it to be throwable. <laughs> oh, there's another layer. You can't- I was holding forward for sure. I was absolutely 100% holding forward on the stick, but, uh, you have to actually be moving. You can't, like, buffer that shit. Let's watch out for the big rolling Goron that can't fucking stop himself. Oh, is this the big-ass one? No, I think the big-ass one is on top of the mountain. Maybe there's two big-ass ones in this one. But I know there's one in Majora's Mask as well that's in, like, a cave room. Bruh. I don't think I hit it. Nice. God di- Bruh. 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 Did that do it? Nice. Oh, hey, here he is! Hell yeah! The big boy! Big Megusta. I'm working on something really cool right now, but I think it's gonna take a while. This guy feels like an Adventure Time character. I, can, I can't explain it any other way. Wait five or six years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a prick. He read the script. He knows the plot. It's weirdly difficult to hit those pots on those tables. So, give me a hint. I, I think, don't you need to play a certain song? You need to play, like, uh, I don't fucking know, Zelda's Lullaby or some shit. I don't really care. It is cool that they, people, I don't know if I mentioned it out loud, by the way, but people said those were hints earlier. They could, like, give you hints. And, uh... That's kind of cool because this game's kind of bullshit sometimes with the weird puzzles and shit, or, like, just you need to go do something. You know? And the game doesn't really super hard indicate that you need to do it. Okay. But now we need to blow up these rocks. Oh, right, and there's this, too. Uh, it actually, no, those, those blocks, are these not? The little bars didn't appear, but aren't these like sun song blocks? No. Oh God. And that took me back to the entrance. Or no, that took me back here? To like the last door I walked out of, I guess? Yeah, I don't- I don't have the song, man. Um, okay. 
<laughs> How do you- can't you like stop this guy by hitting him with something? You stop this guy by like bombing him or something, right? Or, or like hitting him with your sword at just the right time. Come on. <laughs> do it. Die. Oh, literally perfect timing. Literally godlike. Literally godlike. Oh, he's big. Why did you stop me? Don't stop me here. You can't stop my wild rolling. This wild rolling is the only way to relieve my stress. Now stand in awe of my wild, wild rolling. Oh, wow, Katamari King. Okay, well. Do I need to stop him in a certain spot, or is that just for shits and gigs? Huh. Also, what is uh, what does this sign say? Is this gonna say "Watch for Rolling Rock"? I swear to God. Oh, you might get. I think I have to stop him at a certain spot. Hot Rodder Goron. Is that a translation error? To stop him in a certain spot, I guess, but I don't fucking know. Bum, 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 bum. And now I really want to break those rocks. I guess I can cross the ropes, eh? I just realized. And now, come on. This is this is a this is not an art. This is a science. You must have ten PhDs to walk on this rope. <laughs> bruh, literally, bruh, dude. Literally, bruh, dude, get out of my way, dude. I had, like, no leeway there. It's like ten fucking dimensional chests walking across this thing. Um, cool. This was the big-ass guy. There's so much shit- wow, that didn't even come remotely close to hitting me, but sure. There's so much shit as a kid in this game where you... That's great. I'm gonna go to the Lost Woods and try to get some fucking hearts. Goddamn. Maybe I should just buy them some from the shop. I got so many... groupies. There's so much shit that you do as Kid Link in this game, and then it's just like, Can't do this! 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 No, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. It's like, okay. Oh, wow! The fucking... The shop system in this game is also fucked. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Alright, once again into the fucking breach. I feel like the, the colored labels on the doors indicate that, uh... I guess they just indicate certain floors, or they indicate, like, a path... I don't know. I feel like you could hit this guy with the, with the sword, too, but I'm not- I don't even care. Let's not even fucking try. Okay. Can't do that yet. And great. Uh, yeah, we need to, like, really fucking be careful here. I'm not gonna go on the one that that guy is, like, 75% blocking, by the way. I feel like that was a bad move. Doing the one that it, somebody is 75% blocking with their entire body. And it is also longer. Or fuck you. Or. You know. In Mario, he just fucking walks on the tight ropes, and you don't need to do the shenanigans. I don't even remember what this room is. Oh. Oh, this is like their stash of rocks, right? What? Okay. Well, I don't have a fucking bomb bag to blow up these rocks that are in the way. So this is pointless. Cool. That's epic. 
Uh, could they not just, like, they're strong guys. Could they not just lift these rocks and yeet them to the side? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go that door at the very top here. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna, like, leave here and try to find the dungeon. Because I'm trying to remember, like, there's a lot of fucking identical doors in this area. But I think I haven't actually... Have I gone into this one? It's like they tried in vain to fucking mark them. No, this is just the way down. This is an alternate path down. Let's just immediately get those rupees back. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Bump, bump. Okay. Uh, yeah, just about every time I, I don't instantly know where to go, people are like, oh, this is a blind playthrough. This is... I haven't played this game in a decade. <laughs> I played it once a decade ago. This is what it looks like when uh, you just have played the game and have not, like, lived and breathed the game the, your entire life. I think. Nice. Um, can I still move? I can. Maybe? Wow, that guy got fucking beamed. Nice. Okay. Back in horse dick road. I was thinking about that the other day, because I was like, every time in a Zelda game or a Metroid game that I don't instantly know where to go, people are like, oh, is this a blind playthrough? It's like. I mean, I don't mean to be rude. But, like, I think most people don't realize that nobody remembers everything from a game. I mean, even one they've played before. It's like, oh yeah, let me just access my memory and know exactly where to fucking... which door to go in in the Goron City or whatever. It's like, nah, you gotta, you gotta check them. I don't think there's a bomb plant around here. Maybe there is. No. I think I need the bomb bag for that. I think that's just like a chest with some shit in it, I don't know. Oh, the texture down there changed so the lights are on in the houses. That's a cool detail. Are Tektites even gonna attack me here? Yeah. Maybe they're sleeping, I don't know. I remember whatever you fucking do with those little holes in the ground, the entire game in my first playthrough, I was like, oh man, I can't wait to see what epic thing those do. And, and then you like plant a fucking bean in them. And I don't even remember what you can do with the bean. And I was like, oh, lame. Fucking lame. I believe, are those? No, those aren't like climbable rocks. Listen! Yep. Right, lava doesn't actually like, it doesn't really feel terribly realistic in this game. It just kind of like slowly ticks away your health. Those are the guys that shoot lathers. We're back in a dungeon. Honestly, like some of the lesser parts of Ocarina of Time, in my opinion. And this is like the meat and potatoes of the game, too. But, oh well. Here we are. They gotta put some real-ass gameplay in here. Let's not just figure out roughly where to go. I mean, they still have some of that shit in here. Uh, I, I definitely remember this. Let's bomb this guy. Oh. Nice. Oh my god, his head exploded. Holy fuck. That was brutal. Okay. Turn around. Turn the camera around. Yeet. Turn camera. Yeet. Perfect execution. There was a thing over there, too, but I don't... Again, I don't... I don't know. Look at these little guys. They're like Dodongo larvae. Oh, and they blow up. <laughs> Those guys and the mini gomas in 
the first temple I really didn't recognize. Yep, what is it? What is it? What do you want to talk to me about? What is it, Navi? Are, are you... Are you... Are you okay, Navi? Sometimes Navi just, like, flips a shit for no reason. Oh! <laughs> cool guys, don't look at explosions! I realized the last second. They're kind of cute. Kind of dead. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Is that like a blow up a wall? Kinda looks like it. Oh, look, it's one of these cunts. Can I? I think this will activate them, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe not. No, I think I need to push one of these onto him. Yeah. Finally, some real Zelda gameplay. Good. These are not the ones that come to life. Those enemies are always uh, assholes in like every Zelda game. Wow, that really didn't work. Get out of here. I'm Bart Simpson! Cunt. Stop giving me seeds. I know I just used some, but... I don't want them. I remember this room. Yeah, this is the fight. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you really just, like, cheap out every enemy like that? Right, they jump over your ass. It's kind of a hype fight, honestly. It's cool. <laughs> Shit. I'm like fucking it up anyway. I don't need. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like turtling against these assholes. Right, there's one of them. This is about as hard as the uh, double robot fight in Metroid Dread, right? Like I expected, by the way, Vinny fucking annihilated Metroid Dread and I, I was sad. And then I watched Mike play it and then I felt better. Nice. Okay. Okay. I don't know whatever, like, secret is in here. Someone said there was a gamer secret in there, and I don't know it. Oh, I remember this, too. He's walking. Dodonko dislikes smoke. Eat the bomb, cunt. Actually... Hmm. Do I have to, like, place it in front of him, or do I actually just have to hit him? Maybe the tail. There we go. A lot of- a weird amount of enemies in this game, I feel like you hit the tail. That's how you beat the final boss. So I feel like there's this enemy and others. I bet you still can get him to eat a bomb, but I guess it's, I guess it's uh, I, I bet it's finicky as shit. If I had to guess. All right. Is there gonna be a fire puzzle in here? Oh, great. Hmm. I really want to fight this guy. <laughs> Circle straight. They're walking. They look like Half-Life enemies, too, honestly. Hate to say it. <laughs> Nothing a little spam can't solve. <laughs> he does a spin attack, too, I just realized. I tried to do the jumping attack with the Deku stick, and I failed utterly. 
Alright. Let's whip this out. It's weird that it just unburns the stick when you put it away. Okay. Turn. There you go. You have to come to a standstill. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but that's how it feels. Cool. Uh, finally, a game where you light a bunch of torches and it goes da 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 Like, you guys don't know how long I've been, like, making that fucking joke every time we, like, light torches in Dark Souls. And now, finally, we're here. Look at that face. Such a lovely face. Such a lovely face. Like, finally, I can actually just- that just happens. It's not even a joke. Yabba da ba da ba Oh. It's you. Alright. What do we- what do we got? What do we got around here? Some little fellas? Hey, remember when it said little fellas? Speaking of Jabroni Mike? It literally said little fellas. M Mike needs to play Ocarina of Time on stream just so that he can get little fellad. By one of the most classic games of all time. I remember this room, too. You need to, like, light the trail of these bombs, yeah? I mean, give me a second. Sometimes I'm just talking out loud and it sounds like I'm asking for help. Don't let me be misunderstood. Shit, I didn't mean to do that, but okay, I guess we're doing it. I meant to throw it. Let's just see if this is anything. No. In fact, is that... I must have to just set it up there, now that I think of it. I, I kind of, like, accidentally... But I want to blow up this door. Fuck you. Just get blown up. I don't even care. Okay. So I think I need to just put it right here. There you go. Yeah. That's a fun puzzle. There's some good puzzles in Zelda. Just sometimes they're just like, bruh. This is a pretty stupid puzzle. Okay, well, fine. No, I take it all back. Fuck me, I guess. I like it. It's like, yeah, I guess, what is the indication that you need to make them blow up at the same time? But also, you just sort of, like, feel it. I don't know. It's like, oh, there's one gap there. Maybe that's just because I played the game before, though. That's, that's classic shit. A lot of people don't realize how much... Just having a little bit of prior knowledge can help. Are you- are any of you gold? Do I even give a shit about fighting you guys? So let's go. Look up. Z target. Come on. Can't I do that? Fuck. Thought I could do that. Guess I'm just manually aiming. Oh, right. It's because it's a gold one, I think. You, like, can't target them at all. I just remembered. Yep, ba -da -ba -da. How many jewels have I collected? Um, one, I think. What? What? Or do you mean rupees? See, and saying I figured this out when I was eight is is like nothing. That's like people have no fucking idea how much time of their lives they absolutely wasted as an eight-year-old bumbling around in video games, and not knowing what to do. Like, there is such thing as, like, an unsatisfying puzzle that an eight-year-old can complete, you know? Or, like, an unintuitive puzzle that yet... Like, people beat Zelda 1 when they were younger. I don't need to say any more than that. I tried beating Zelda 1 without any sort of, like, internet guide or anything, and I literally gave up at the last temple, like, the last dungeon, because I was like, fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. I was like, I don't care about being a purist anymore. I just want it to be over. Bats. Oh, am I in the mouth? 
No. Not even close. We're not even in that... No, we're in that room. I was like, when's the bomb gonna grow? And then I realized it was just gross. This is a lesser... Dodongo's Cave. Very much a lesser dungeon theme. I feel like all the kid Link dungeons are kind of like... Not the most distinctive or memorable. Oh, God. Listen! You never know what will be around the corner. <laughs> or, like, you could go even further and say... People beat Ghostbusters for the NES in the 80s without the internet. Like, holy fuck. Right? Like, that's the shit that really blows your fucking mind. And it's just people had, like, infinite fucking time to throw at it. Use Z-targeting to always look in the proper direction. Yeah, I've been doing that the whole game, but don't worry about it. It is useful. Oh, that guy snuck up on me. Do you think you could, like, raise the camera angle here? Like you did in some of those other rooms? That was pretty cool. It was kind of based. But okay. Oh, right. I remember this. I remember trying to get a bomb up onto this tiny little ledge. Yeah! And I don't know if it's, like, what you're supposed to do or what, but I'm gonna do it again. Shit. Let's see what's in this. Hmm. Nothing. Literally nothing. Thanks. People have asked if I want to do a randomizer of this game, by the way. Fuck. Uh, the answer is no. The answer is I do not. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Metroid, I feel like, is just way better for that. Because in this, it's just like... So much of it... Like, at least when you get missiles, it's like, hey, you got some missiles. You know? That's not nothing. But then... In... In Zelda, it's like, so many of the random things are literally nothing. You know? And, like, Wind Waker as well. It's like so many of them are literally going to actually be not anything. Like, nothing at all. That was pretty, uh... That was some pretty expert gameplay, wasn't it? Another fight room? Yeah. <laughs> These guys get absolutely fucked by the Hyrule Shield. I think you can only hit him three times and then they hop away. Yeah? Fuck you. Fuck you. Damn you. <laughs> He's trying to hit me with the fancy footwork. He's schmoovin'. Yeah. <laughs> what about Randomizer Wind Waker? I just said, right? Maybe I didn't say that out loud. Shit. Put away the fucking Deku stick. I keep accidentally, like, every once in a while when I want to change the camera really quickly, my Dark Souls Instinct... Nice backswing there. My Dark Souls Instinct kicks in and I try to use the C stick to change the camera angle, which is, of course, a folly. I feel like I'm being a massive fucking pussy in this fight. I don't really care. <clears throat> Ocarina of Time combat is, like, not the absolute best compared to other games. In the series, I think. Um, okay. Cubes of meat everywhere. Oh shit, don't fall down here. Huh, that's the previous arena. It's kinda cool. What is with, like, some hearts... I guess it's just hearts, like, recovery hearts that are... Nice lava waterfall, that's pretty cool, actually. This, I like this room. A lot. The ones that are permanent and don't disappear are big, and then the little hearts are just the collectibles. What do you expect from N64 combat? I didn't say I expected any different. It's just not great. Uh. Give me a minute. I know, I know, like, 20 of you know exactly what to do in this room. Oh, here we go. <laughs> 
That was a Harry Potter one moment. Oh! There was a timer. Fuck. Okay, well, now I know what to do. Uh, do you like Red Vox? I have never really given him much of a listen. Uh, it, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It's weird hearing Vinny sing. He's got a great voice and all that, but, uh... It is weird hearing him sing. It, it kind of, it's like, weird to the point of being maybe a little off-putting just for me personally. So I've never really, I, I can't say I've ever really given him a chance that much. But from what little I've heard, it, it sounds like, it, like, you know when like a fucking YouTuber releases a book or whatever, or a, an album or whatever, and it's like not real? It's like, it's, it sounds like real music, which is admirable. That's what I will say. It sounds like real music. Look at this fucking texture. Someone went a little crazy with the blur tool. Yeah, and just like straight like rock is not really my style, I guess. I guess that's also true, like just the genre. I have listened to a little bit of Joel's music too. He makes like metal. I, I heard the album of him shit talking Rev. Who is another ex Vine Sauce streamer? We're we gonna get the item of the dungeon? I think you get the Megaton Hammer from Darunia, right? Bombs! Nice! But like, yeah, Vinny's got a good voice. <clears throat> I've seen- I've also seen Mike doing like drum covers of video game songs, and he's a good drummer. Like I said, they're real. Oh my god! It's El is real! El is real! El is real! It's literally the El is real texture! Holy shit! Someone said this was in the game, like last stream, and I was like, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that, because I don't remember that. There it is! El is real 2401. Giant dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go to go will be open. When it sees red, I remember you gotta like yuck bombs into its eyes or whatever. The moving platform goes higher. Nice. Is this the moving plat? No, that's the moving platform. Okay. So I think. Hmm. I remember doing this shit with the eyes. Let me just cross here and see what we got. Oh. oh great. Hmm. I don't have any bombs is the thing, and I think I need to, like, drop a bomb right down here. Do I actually... hold on. Oh, I have 20 bombs. What am I talking about? I was like, I just got the bag. I'm glad I checked. Oh, and I don't even need to time it. I guess the bag, like, automatically gave me a bunch of bombs. I'm glad I looked at my menu. Uh, okay, are we just... Damn it, I tried to do the thing. I think you need to do it forward, specifically. Okay. Oh, right, we still need to find... Actually, is the hammer... I think the hammer is as adult Link. Because that's the thing that you use to defeat Volva... Volvagina. Volvagia. Volvagia. I always thought it was cool that there's like a water worm and a fire worm boss in this game. You'd think you would see, like, fan art of them twisting together in a double helix. But I've never seen it. Such a disappointment. So sad. Uh, can you die? Bruh. Uh, what is gonna happen when I walk through this? Looks like those things are gonna go... Lock me in. Okay. 
I, it feels like I'm making incredibly fucking steady progress on this dungeon. Which I know you guys are probably getting sick of hearing it, but that's not how it went on my first time through. <laughs> uh... Into the hole. Into the hole. Is there... can I... please... Okay, you know what? Good! Thank you! I appreciated that! Oh, I need to, like, push a thing into there, I see. Also, someone said Morpha is not a water worm. Like, come on, bro. It's a fucking water worm. I know it's technically, like, the little, like, ball inside of it. It's a fucking, like, Pikmin 1 enemy. It's a water worm. Can we... can we stop this fucking, like, dance right now? Great. It's just so awkward to have to get out the slingshot and, like, aim behind you. That it's, like, not even worth taking out for those guys. Sometimes. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. 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 Fuck you! Okay, you know what? Cunt. I don't even know where you are. Great. This is fun. I love rooms with just two bats to, like, annoy the shit out of you. Bruh. Maybe I'm just a gamer. I, I really think... Regardless of gamertude. Oh, guys, uh, watch closely because uh, it, it gives you really important information here on on what how to how to equip bombs. If, never forget how to equip bombs. This game will never let you forget how to equip bombs. By the way, Do you, are you reading this? Good if you're not, because it'll tell you it'll tell you a million more times. One one billion more. This would be like seriously, people would be like screaming at me and saying that I'm like a bad human being, and like. And, and, like, saying they're, like, unsubbing from my channel and shit if this was my first playthrough. I think regardless of my, like, age or if I have, like, gotten better at video games or whatever. What is this all about, eh? Like, legit, people would be, like, freaking the fuck out if I was actually figuring this shit out for the first time. Uh, so that was... What? Do I need to bomb that or something? Because that was the entire room. There was nothing else in this room but bombs and a mysterious mark on the ground. Okay. See, and like, for instance, thank you for not telling me what to do there, chat. I appreciate it. Oh, this is the boss. Fuck. I have B parts, and we're fighting the boss. Shit. Nice. Infernal dinosaur. This is the one you need to yeet bombs into his mouth. My god. You know what, let's just try to find some hearts. Should have taken the red potion, bro. Oh god. You know, should probably look at him. Oh, does he roll? Is he rolling? He's rolling. I don't think there's uh, any things to heal here, so that's cool. I think I'm gonna die here. You. <laughs> I tried. I think you need to do it while he's like inhaling for one of his attacks. Maybe not. Yeah. Oh fuck. And that's that's not very cool. Did that hurt him? I kind of hope it did, but I don't think it did. Oh, and... Oh, that only did a quarter of a heart. Wow, I really love this beep. By the way, I know I've talked about this before, but, like, can we talk about how many... I guess I do have, uh... I also have bombs I can just pick up, but... Good. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, great. Let's just, uh... Let's just try to meet him at the pass here. They took, like, seriously the entire series, like, 99% of the series, to get rid of the beat, and that's just insane to me. Yeet! There you go. And do I, like, bang his head, too? Do I slice him? 
Yeah. Oh, only a little bit though, and then I die. Oh, Jesus. I think it's gonna be way easier to just use my bombs. I think those are just for if you run out. Fuck, I died. Sad. Okay, going into that with more than one heart will make it, I think, significantly easier. Did his eyes turn into little X's? It adds to the tension, someone said. Show of hands. Does literally anyone agree with that? Or does, has every single human being who has ever played a Zelda game only exclusively 100.000% been annoyed by it? Has literally anyone ever not just been annoyed by that? I like on the planet, like even your grandma, like, I, like, in the whole world? Fuck. This is not the way to go. Now I have suboptimal health. You know what? Turn around. Get out the fucking slingshot. And murder. Great, and he gave me no hearts. So, can I... Where is this motherfucker? Fighting bats in this game is so goddamn annoying, I swear. It's so miserable. We go in there with half a heart again. I will literally just sit by this singular patch of grass and farm it for an hour. That was good. Is there... a second patch of grass? No. This is, this is Metroid 1 right now. We're playing Metroid 1. At least it grows back real fast. I don't even have a magic meter yet, I just realized, so I can just charge up things all the time. Yes, I know where to go. Also, someone said north. I don't have a map, but I do know which door to go in. Thank you very much. Alright. Get me down here. 17 bombs is fine, they give you infinite. Rawr. That, like, texture on the inside of his mouth is almost psychedelic. Look at his big chumbless jobbling around. Eat. Okay, you only get to hit him once. You only get to hit him one time. Uno hits. <laughs> Fuck. This time it. Yeet! Damn it. Will I survive? Maybe I should just use my shield there. Huh? <laughs> Holy shit! That's an amazing fucking shield. And you look like Big Chungus. Wow, did I really just do that? Fuck. That sucked. The, the bomb's fuses are... Are the bomb's fuses shorter on the ones in my inventory? Or am I just a big old, big old pussy, dickhead, dingus? Should like wait for him to start sucking. When you nut, but she keeps sucking. <laughs> I feel like using, actually using the shield makes this game so much fucking easier too. Like I, I, I think I basically never used it before. That was a bad, bad idea. A bad mistake. A good mistake. Task failed successfully. <laughs> Does it have, like, durability? Like, will it go away at, at, at a certain point? Alright, this has got to be it. Are you done three hits? Yeah. If it's not three hits, then it's either four or five. Oh, bye. Rolling, 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 rolling. He's just trying to relax. He's trying to unwind. And he rolled right into his fucking fire pit. Damn. Give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up. Thumbs up out of the lava. Thumbs up out of the lava. Come on. Do it. His hands can't make thumbs ups. I am having fun. This is a good game. It's it's not bad. So you can totally just not grab the heart container, right? Isn't that a thing? Like people do no heart container runs and just like you just leave it in there. 
Wow, and he's like stuck there too. That's pretty macabre, don't you think? Damn. I seem to remember in one Zelda game I actually like accidentally left a heart container behind and had to go back into the dungeon for it. <laughs> oh right, you. Magusta. <laughs> it's me, Darunia. Thump. <laughs> Sound of smells spine breaking. What a wild adventure. Yeah, you were totally there for all of it. It will make an incredible story. Good old Dongos. I feel like the Dongos are a very underdeveloped Zelda race. They're always just like, yeah, throw a bomb in my mouth. He said, give me the jam. Give me the cheese. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. Kid, I like you. How's about you and I become sworn brothers? Sure. I really like that song you played. He's gonna give me the rock. Wow, Link was on the- <laughs> Smell was on the floor, having collapsed the entire time he was talking there. Holy shit. He didn't even wait for him to get up to give him the whole speech. Link's like on the ground convulsing and Darunia's like, Rick and Morty, thousand years, forever Morty! Nice. The crystal. The crystal. The crystal. Yeah, the crystal. Yeah. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. I'm sure that won't come back to bite you in the ass later. Wow, menacing fucking shot. Brother? Oh right, I have bombs now. Hell yeah. I can blow up that path. Mm. Are they gonna dance? You did great! <laughs> How about a big Goron hug? Oh no. What the fuck? I don't remember this cutscene. Weird. That was a weird cutscene! I didn't like that at all! No sir. Not one bit. Are you guys ready to get your ears screamed in, by the way? Are, are you prepared? I don't think some, some of you who- I'm sure there's someone out there who has not played this or seen this. You ready to be fucking, like, scared? By a girl boss? Bruh, wait, what? Is this not where I'm going? Did I somehow fuck up blowing those up? Oh god. What, what, huh? I hit it wrong. Like, what, in what world? I'm gonna need to go get more bombs. Okay, come on. That went into, like, the absolute perfect cranny for that, and then it just left the perfect cranny for that. Great. Well, I'm gonna run out of bombs before I can do this. Please, for the love of God. Thank you. And then I think this one, you need to time it, yeah? Damn. That was wrong. God damn it. Okay, well, time to go get more bombs. Hope these rocks don't grow back. Uh, should I, should I utilize the Goron shop? Oh yeah, that's a secret too. I think that's what I was thinking about earlier. These are always rupees. Yeah. Okay. Let's go in and actually purchase bombs from this asshole. 
even though I hope they're not display bombs. Oh god, I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up. Fuck me right up the ace. Oh. I love the, like, angry poggers on that one. Alright, you got real bombs now? Five bombs for 25 rupees. That is so fucked. The only thing that makes that a fucked amount, though, is the fact that you can only hold a certain number of rupees, right? I mean... Look at that. Jesus Christ. I, I can't buy another five pieces. It's nuts. Great. So better start working my... I, I just bought 15 bombs and that was like 75% of all the money I own in the earth. In the earth. Whatever. This is not the way. That's the way to the great... or to the lost woods. The great wood. Someone said the Deku Tree was like the curse rotted great wood. And I indignantly raised my finger to speak in opposition and then I, I had nothing... I had nothing to say. Just like the curse rotted great wood. Okay, let's try this again. Let's not fuck it up like I did before. Uh, shit, let me do the fucking... Or no, wait, this isn't... Yeah, this is, this is the spot. The bombs actually... The rocks stayed blowed up, which is good. Uh, just drop it here. Don't fuck around with throwing. There you go. That's just a rupee thing, I bet. Yeah! 50 rupees! Alright, hey, look at that. You know what? We're already back. I'm glad these rocks stay blown up. That's real good. Okay. This is the time. No. Yes. It sort of landed on top of it. Great, that rupee's gonna go to waste. Fuck. Why did he not jump? He literally just didn't jump. Did you guys see that? I walked off a ledge and Link just didn't jump. Whenever that happens, I'm like... I had no input on that. This was not my decision. What is, uh... Hold on. Is that just the path up to the big Goron or something? Hmm. <laughs> nice. All oh, the rainbow. Yeah, the rainbow. Yeah. See, that's a sacred texture right there. Okay, and great. Bunch of rupees I don't need. And the cow! Mm. Fuck your grass. I think you can milk this guy and get milk from him when you have a bottle, but I don't have a bottle. Speak. Sad. Sedge! Maybe I can do something there, but I don't know. I don't know what. Okay, so this must be the path up to the, the big Goron on the mountain and the fairy fountain. Kind of rhymed a little bit. Feeling pretty happy about that. Oh, hello. Oh! 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 What the fuck? Holy shit. That was pretty intense. Okay, and it's happening again. Let's just hold. What the fuck? Oh, and I gotta climb this thing. There you go. Yeah! Finally used my fucking strat! I'm not gonna be able to use it on this other guy, though. Please don't. No hurt. I'm glad that things are not falling right now. Enemies. Enemies. I remember always getting- oh, great. I remember always getting super annoyed in Twilight Princess when I was in the main field area, like Hyrule Field. 
and that awesome music is playing, and then enemies would come into view, and it would be like, Bwah! like the negative version of the music. And I'd be like, no, let me hear the epic song. Here we are. Here we are, folks. Ready to craygasm all over yourself? <laughs> Speed run! Music sucks! Tits, 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 tits. Is that like a real ass, like, Greek statue in the background there? Ready for the scream? It's like, holy fucking shit. Calm down. You know what that is? That's on Twitter and like Tumblr and shit. That's that's the laugh that I imagine whenever I hear that, or whenever I see. Right, I think there's only three of these in the whole game, right? Her tits are like seriously like be careful. She's gonna like accidentally cut a vein with her tits. Uh. <laughs> Pockers! Spin! Nice, I have magic now, right? I already could spin attack, but now I have a beam. Or a wave, rather. <gasps> Look at that! That's the thing that I missed in my first playthrough. A very effective quick spin. Fuck. Wish I hadn't missed that. <laughs> when you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Hey boy, you're pretty cool. Next time you're in the hood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> right, they can full heal you too, but it's always so out of the way that it's completely useless. <clears throat> Remember the fairy fountains in Majora's Mask that have all those weird little babies floating around in them? Also, look at that like real ass, like, they just like took a JPEG of like Michelangelo's David or some shit like that. My Michelangelo's David? That was- Who the fuck made David? David statue. Michelangelo, okay. I was like, is it Michelangelo? I feel like I might be embarrassing myself here. Hey, Mikey! <laughs> Cheese pizza! This fuck face. Okay, well, you can still- you still do not have enough power to face Ravenbeak. I can lend you a wing. No, 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 no. Let me talk to the big dude. Or whatever this is. Oh, this is this. This is what you do as an adult. I believe. Smell, it's so hot in here. 40 seconds. I, I think I can't do this right now. Uh... <laughs> oh! Okay, yeah, let's just go. Let's go. I'm sure there's, like, secrets you can get in here before... There's a lot, like, I need the Varia suit. When are you going to play Game & Watch games? I did. Lawyered. Played Game & Watch Gallery 4. I played a lot of Game & Watch games, as it happens. I forgot about this guy carrying you down the mountain. Alright, nice. Oh, look, it's the fairy flying song from the beginning of the game. <laughs> Nice view of Death Mountain there. Again, pretty impressive that they did this on the N64. Like, 
This game definitely comes across more impressive than Mario 64, for instance, which is also not a, uh, not a shoddy game by any means. Oh, he put me on top of the house here. Is there something to get? I hear the windmill turning. Oh, is there a gold sculpture down there? Those are so useful to get! I should get it! Uh, do I actually care? No. No, I do not. Gold Sculptulas are, like, infamous for being a pretty tedious side quest that gets you literally nothing. Like, it actually gets you nothing. It's like a bigger wallet at a point in the game where you will not need more rupees. However, I did get that one. Bugs. Just bugs and some rupees, great. I think... oh. Who are you? This used to be the Great Impa's house. Oh. Right, this is where she was born, yeah. And now it's a historical landmark. It's like fucking Monticello. And I guess the Sheikah connection is like the reason why they keep bringing back Kakariko Village, but I still think like, it's just a fucking town. Please don't tease my cuckoos! Monka S, 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 Monka S. Cow. I don't know if I ever went in here. I don't remember this room. Hey! What do I, uh, what, what does a guy gotta do? I guess I gotta get to the other side and get into that room. There's like a door in there. Hold on. <laughs> oh, look, there's another guy here that I didn't even see. Is visiting other people's houses at this late hour your idea of fun? Th this is not your house. What? This is- this guy's doing the same shit as me! He's visiting fucking Monticello and going like, Wow, look at you gay-ass kid visiting Monticello! What the fuck? What an asshole! Allergic. There's a lot of- it looks like there's a lot of bottles there. I wish I could just grab one. What a dickhead! What an absolute dickhead! Okay, well, I don't really care about doing that right now. Oh. Look at this. I remember this. This fucking dickhead. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting, too. He has, like, a mini-game in the second one, right? Or in Majora's Mask, rather. He's a thief, I think. Okay, so she said there was another fairy near Hyrule Castle. Am I to do that right now? Or should I just go, uh... I'm trying to think. Because the next dungeon is Prince Jabu Jabu. Which means I'm probably gonna have to go fiddle around with the, uh, the Zora zone. I could play the Sun Song here. Ooh, wait, is this it? Oh, did I? I got hit, but I didn't get launched back. Good. And that's why randomizers are out of the question for this, I think. Oh, great. You got a magic jar. It's 3D modeled. How fucking cursed. And that's the only time it'll ever tell me that. But oh, next time I get bombs from a chest, just you wait. 
Watch that only be a thing that happens like twice in the entire game, and I was like totally overreacting to it. Because like I said, when I said that, everybody else was like, question marks? What's going- what do you mean? Annoying bomb text. <laughs> May get crushed by the gate. <laughs> Please. Aw, sad. So sad. Sage! Let's see, let me just putter around a little bit here. I love that guy. Um... Must be, she said it was near the castle, so there must be like, oh, in fact, I know the exact place that she was talking about. There's a rock over here that you can blow up. Uh-huh. Yep. Thank you, Link. There you go. Bum bum bum. <laughs> Yay! Is that gonna count? Thank you. It's just a little hole. Actually, is this even the one? Hmm. Let's see. Yes, it is. Green fire. Wow, we did this fast. <laughs> I'm. Tr you can't like improvise here, else it'll go ding. I was gonna go. Ding! Alright, ready to get uncomfortable? Again, whenever you just mash characters on the keyboard instead of laughing or typing like Lamau like a fucking normal human being, then, uh, that's what I hear. It's like the really uncomfortably, like, visceral laugh. The, like, that is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my fucking life and I'm drunk off my ass laugh. Am I gonna get Deiru's Findle here? Nice. Din's Fire. I remember this being kind of useful, actually. For when there's a bunch of- uh, Useful for when there's a big room full of fucking bats! Look at her hips. Look at her hips. That is all. Oh yeah, and I can solve fire puzzles with it, too. When battle has made you weary, well, you'll probably find some hearts in some fucking grass, and we'll never actually come back here. What a nice looking room, though. How nostalgic. And they brought back the tune. The classic Zelda 1 tune, right? That's like when you die in Zelda 1. What is this? Oh, it's just to get up there, I guess. Please, thank you. Nice. Okay. Someone said to talk to the guy that's dying, and uh, he wasn't here when I talked to him, or when I went back here before, I think. I, I think we need to, like, I think that only happens when you, when you go into the future, right? So I checked for this shit. I don't know. Uh, so now go fuck around with the Zoras, I guess, right? Did the game even, like, tell me to do that? I mean, I know that's where we go next, but... I feel like if there was any dialogue saying to do that, I missed it. 
Oh, also, while we're here during the day, we should talk to, uh, Malon, or whatever her name is. I forget if it's Malon or Talon, because she has a similar sounding name to her dad. <gasps> Swack! Nice, cozy ass music. Whoa, whoa! Did you see that horse sliding? What the fuck? That horse just slowed across the entire place. He slidded. Oh look, Epona is baby, I forgot about that. I guess that is how time do work, eh? Her voice. <laughs> we are all simply baby. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. Again? Oh right, we did talk. I heard you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? He he. <sighs> fairy boy. Lamau, fucking Lamau, dude. As just. I think. Do I need to uh, take out my ocarina? No. Uh, yeah. To those of you who are just joining us, I played. I'm playing this on Wii Virtual Console. <laughs> I'm Sora from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> We're so whimsical. <laughs> <laughs> My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Okay, she's just gonna tell it to me, I guess. Oh, I should have used my ocarina. Cute ocarina! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I tried to do a note waiver, but it counted as a wrong note. I wanted to play it so horribly. Fuck. No, st Bruh. Dude. Okay. By the way, I didn't even say what I thought was like vaguely, what I thought I remembered was like vaguely bullshit about unlocking Epona. And someone in the comments was like, yeah, you're probably wrong. <laughs> I didn't even, I deliberately didn't even say what it was. But someone was like, yeah, you, I think you're wrong. I didn't even say it. <laughs> What's the owl? I'll tell you when we get there. I'll tell you when we get to that point. Oh, look at the baby just pushing me. Oh my God. Merciless. Holy shit, that's, that's kind of intimidating. It's like, stop, you're right next to me. Holy shit. <laughs> I think I'll go to sleep. Oh, sad. I was really hoping it would, like, clip me through the wall or something. I love that sound font with, like, your little voice. It's just cool. Alright. The map looks like Among Us. Uh... Let's just take a look at my song list here. Nice. That's satisfying. It's always satisfying at the end of a Zelda game to have a bunch of fucking stuff in your inventory. The map looks like Among Us. I love that you can totally tell when when the trigger zone is going to be hit, you know. Okay. I don't think there was really anything that indicated that I should go over to the Zora's domain now, but I I will do that. I think it's over there, but I don't remember what this is. This is just some fucking stuff. Some goddamn creatures. Oh, this is where the fucking pineapple thing is. Look at that. 
The Juggalo Pineapple. Oh, guys, oh, is it really annoying when I keep bringing up Among Us all the time? Oh, man. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, that's so... Oh, that's such a... Oh, that's such a shame that you're so annoyed by me bringing up Among Us. Oh, that's such a shame. I feel so bad. I feel so bad for you. I feel so bad for you, dude. I feel so bad and guilty, dude. The guilt is fucking like killing me inside, dude. Fuck. Was there a point to aggroing this dickhead? Oh, it just tears me up. That works. Oh my god, I just feel so terrible! I just feel- oh! Damn! I did not mean to do this. Oh, this is just one that heals you, though. And you can, like, get a fairy in a bottle, if you have a bottle. Okay. It's kinda cool. Such a fucking shame that people are so, oh man, just saddened by it. Those trees pop into view when you turn there. Um, alright. After that brief tangent. You can totally see the light, like, peeking around one of those polygons there, but I don't think I can go through here. Blech. I just burped mid-sentence. Like I'm goddamn Rick from Rick and Morty. Alright, let's head over here. Do they even, like, simulate clouds moving across the sky a little bit? No? Yeah, this is a pretty cool game. Pretty cool game. Uh -huh. Oh, this is the way to Gerudo Valley, I think, right? No. We'll just poke around. Fuck, I was going for a perfect. Damn it. Yep. Well, you're free to go anywhere you want. Ho 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 hoo. No. Doesn't he like switch it up on one of the later ones too? Like it defaults to no on like his last one or some shit like that. Yeah, this is the way to Gerudo Valley. I'm just gonna go this way. Cause I know we don't have anything to do there now. I think that that's where like the broken bridge is. I think that we watch the bridge get broken, I'm pretty sure. Nice. I, there's probably nothing behind me. There is probably nothing behind me. I am probably absolutely fine. Nope, everything's fine. Nope, everything is fine. F-I-N-E, fine. Nothing to see here, folks. <sighs> I actually juked him! Oh my god! Hold on, let's talk to this dumbass owl. Beyond this point lies Lake Hylia. Yeah, fuck you! I know what lakes are! Dude, I know what a lake is! Holy fuck! This guy looks like me, and I don't see that, but... <laughs> Someone sent me this picture? <laughs> I think it's like Mr. Incredible, plus like a fucking a Sontaran from Doctor Who. It, the original was stretched out like that, but I can sort of unstretch it. Bruh. 
Like photorealistic Mr. Incredible. Oh good, are they still here? Oh, such a shame. Such a goddamn shame. Wow. Literally just watched him die right in front of my goddamn eyes. That was brutal. Look at that. Definitely not any forced perspective going on here. It's just a little bit. Hmm. Wonder if I take like one step forward, will it fade to black? No. Oh, I'm actually dummy. I'm actually dummy thick. Lake Hylia. <laughs> nice. We're getting close to Sharky's machine here. <clears throat> this is a nice place to test out the spin slash. Nice. That's satisfying. Oh! Bruh. Trying to get to the bottom of the mysteries of Lake Hylia. Oh, this fucking guy. This music's great, too. The potions music. The potions. She's a student of mine. So I think I, once I get the metal boots, then we'll be able to see the shark. But I don't think we can see it now. No, sad. So sad. But they, they like bait you into going down there and getting spooked by it, by putting a red rupee there. They're just like a crab. Just a crab, some shells. This is like that one shop in uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. What the fuck? Look at this like squid thing. I remember the squid thing. Weird. Weird squid thing. Look at the moon going absolutely ham. Holy shit. It moves so quickly. That's why the sun song is so, like, unnecessary for most of the game. Because the days pass so quickly. Letting the days grow by. Yeah, it kind of looked like an alien controller from Half-Life. Look at this dude. How awkwardly he's like perched on this thing. Or like one foot is like half off. Okay, it's it's not gonna let me look at it normally because targeting. What are you doing? You've come a long way to get up here. Not really, it's been like 10 minutes and I've talked to you like five times. Fuck you. Smell, this is a beautiful lake full of pure- Yep! Water temple. Who? Who? Mm-hmm. I'm falling asleep. It's like Paper Mario, where there'll be like an old person character that talks Mario's ear off and he falls asleep during the cutscene. Yep. Hold on to my talons. Nope. Fuck you. No, fuck you! Oh. He almost grabbed me. Anyway. Oh right, Octoroks. I could eat an Octorok! Uh, no, some text you cannot skip in this game. There's only certain text. Some of it, it just locks you in. What do you gotta say about this? I remember this tree has like some scratch marks on it for some reason, and I, I don't know if it's ever explained. I, n I just noticed you can actually see the Goron power bracelet on Rink's... Link's arm. Rink's arm. I wonder if Saria knows anything about the, that other spiritual stone. Yeah, look, the scratches. 
Do you see the scratches? TNG reference. What's up with that? What what made those scratches in in the tree? Um. I don't know. The, the bars didn't appear, so I figured this won't actually do anything. The owl did that. The owl. Okay. Do I need to, like... Hold on. Isn't this the one where you need to, like, shoot the sun with an arrow? Isn't that what you do from here to, like, activate the water temple? I seem to remember this is... Yeah! Did I not actually read this? When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. Can I use... I don't think I can do it with the uh, slingshot. This is a kind of a neat puzzle. Whoa. Look at the, like, skybox. Wow. Uh. Here we are. kind of doubt I can do this, but... No. Sad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we going to do the alien side quest? I think that's in Majora, right? I think the aliens only appear in Majora's Mask. In which case, yes, we probably will. Because I do plan to play Majora's Mask. Because Majora's Mask is just better this game. Alright, Navi, what are, you, what are you doing now? Why are you obsessed with random fucking spots in the map, Navi? Uh, like, are you kidding me? Okay. Well... Yeah. I guess that's just nothing. Chat, why is Navi freaking out sometimes? Seriously, why? Okay. She looks at shit that's important. Okay, but like, yeah, so shit like that. But what was special about that little, like, cranny there? And she didn't, like, say anything about it. There was no prompt. No, I guess there's- sometimes there isn't a prompt. But what was up with that- what was up with that little cranny? Oh god, I remember not liking the fishing. Hmm, this fucking guy. This dude kind of looks like me, too. <laughs> I don't have facial hair. You don't have a rumble pack! Lol, I'm playing this with a GameCube controller that has built-in rumble, but okay. This time, no rumble for you! Wow. Peasant child. I don't actually own a rumble pack for N64. Walk up to the water's edge and press Z to look at a fish. <gasps> I hit B once! I literally tapped B once! And that happened! No, I do not understand! Z target of fish. Cast your line with B. I don't wanna- I don't wanna play this. Uh... Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this- yeah. Th this game, this minigame, they could not have des designed this sleeker. This is pure intuition. This minigame is nothing but the best fucking design in the entire series. They could not have cut any facets off of this. If any part of the process of catching a fish in this game had been removed, it would have been illegitimized. Like, it would have been just terrible. Oh god, nope. I literally do not want to do this. Goodbye. We will be seeing you later. Yep. Return the rod to the counter. Yep. Bye. Yep. Yep. Leave. Leave. <laughs> Alright. Fun. Very fun. Ah! 
fun fishing minigame. Oh look, it's this guy. This is the dude that you teach Scarecrow's song to, right? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> what a funky tune! Fantastic tune! It touches my heart! <laughs> I didn't even press anything! It, like, skipped that cutscene halfway through automatically! If you come up with a nice song, come back and let me hear it. Do I need to, like... I don't need to, like, time it, right? Hold on. <laughs> there you go. This guy has shit taste in music. Why does it skip halfway through like that? That's really weird. Maybe it's just because I, I like did mine so fast. I am Bonuru. Bonuru. Oh. What? But you're both... Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? What? Huh? I thought you play a song for this guy in the past. I thought there was only one, and you play a song for him in the past, and then in the future you can play it again, and then it, like, does something. It, like, teleports you or some shit. Oh, well. Uh... Is this the thing I need to do? I don't think it is. I see a heart container down there, but I don't think I can actually get down here. I need to find Zora's domain. Uh, oh fuck, there's the fishing. Is there anything else? Chat, am I missing something in this particular, like, part of the map, or do I need to go back and... I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to go back and try doing other things. Actually, wait. What is... What is this little path? Oh, that's... I don't really know, actually. No, that's just... There's like... Oh, that's like the river flowing into here, I think. Okay. Well... I guess I'm out of here. This map kind of looks like a bag of blood. It's like partially filled, or like an organ. It's full of food. Stomach. Hyrule Field. Alright. Let me try to at least find Zora's Domain before we call it quits for today. But, uh... I think we- I foresee that we will not be playing too much longer today. Is that just a hole in the ground that I can just go into? I like this cave music a lot. Big fan. Alright, let's see those 50 rupees. Five rupees, Jesus. What a scam. What a scam. <clears throat> I need a bottle. I should buy a bottle from a shop. I feel like that's a pretty useful thing to have. It's way more fucking useful than red potion, I'll tell you what. It's- you can just bottle a fairy for free and not have to worry about purchasing red potion. I guess you can use the red potion twice though, right? Is that a thing in this game? <laughs> <clears throat> Using the potion, like you drink half of it. Um. I feel like. Did I. Uh. The path. That I thought was the Gerudo path. Maybe I was. Maybe I was wrong and that was the Zora path. So I feel like this is the way back to, uh. Kokiri Village. We're, we're just gonna take a peek, though. 
Yeah, the milk is the one that you drink two times. That's what I'm thinking of. And then the goddamn soup in, uh, in Wind Waker. Yay! Did that actually- can you blow these up? It's like a different type of rock. Are there super bombs in this game? Shit. Na -na. Oh, guys, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Yeah, I remember eating, like, drinking the fucking ghosts. They have a random chance to, like, full heal you or take some hearts away, right? So that's Kokiri Village. What is this? Is this anything? Right, you have to go down like a river path to get to the Zora's Domain, right? I think we're on the right track here. I remember this, and it's like behind a waterfall. Is it wise to go down here while it's dark? Because I feel like it's going to stay dark the whole time. Oh no. It's lighter in here. Like in Hyrule Field, or in places where the time is actively progressing. They make a little bit darker at the darkest times. Although this, it might, this might still be an area where time progresses. I fucking hate this owl. I hate this owl. Uh, yeah, you can't press A or B on this guy. I'm trying it. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have. And also, I want to read it because what if he says something important and I miss it, and then chat goes, he can't read. You know. It literally said it on the screen! <clears throat> okay, play the song. Oh, he didn't even ask that time. Damn. The fuck? Okay. Time to hit the cuckoo. No. Wrong. Oh, look. One of these assholes. Wow, this guy was- Oh, it's the bean guy! This guy was born a Goron. Talk to me. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. Sure. Give me a bean. Yeah! These look like the pills that fucking- the fat guy in Naruto had to take before he fucking died. What was his name? It was like CH something. What, who was the big fat guy in Naruto? Who was always eaten? Choji. Thank you. I don't really remember what the purpose is of these. Fuck. Let's try it out. I know they, like, grow a little plant, but I don't remember what the plant actually, like, does. It's like something about, like, teleporting or some shit like that. What the bean is grand. What? Oh. I did it. No. Okay. <clears throat> Do I need to, uh, manually... 20 rupee? Bruh. Choji doesn't actually die in that scene. He fucking turns into a spirit butterfly. Oh, guys, check it out. You can you can equip this. You can equip this. In case you missed it last time. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Okay, so what is the purpose of this? Okay, I... Maybe they'll grow when I'm an adult. I don't know. I don't really remember what those do, frankly. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry if anybody's expecting, like, slick tricks in this. I know, I know that Ocarina is famous for being a glitchy mess. It's a masterpiece. But, uh... Yeah, oh, I just went back like an asshole, I think. <clears throat> uh, that... That's, that's Mario games with me, you know? Where I've played them a bunch of times. Whereas this, I'm, uh, yeah, this is this is only my second time going through the game ever, and I, I don't know very much about it. Okay, fuck you, chicken. 
Oh, he can actually swim. What a good boy. Okay, so like, what's up with this Navi? Some frogs are looking- Oh! Froggy. Froggy. Yeah! These guys are in Majora's Mask. I don't know if I ever found these guys in this game. It, are they just... <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. I never found this, I don't think. But I remember these guys are in Majora's Mask as well. Okay. Did I do something? Oh! Young lad, you play the ocarina well. He grew. One of them grew. We all should practice it. Take rupees as a souvenir. If you come up... Okay, so every song that you know, you get some rupees from these guys. Okay. Weird. Yeah, I never found that. That's cool. It's also fun to just play the ocarina and have them go... Well, I have full rupees right now, so I don't even want to play a song for him. I bet they give you, like, a heart container if you get all of them, though. Yeah, imagine if you just, like, whip out your fucking iPod and play a song for somebody, and they're like, Hey, that was so fucking good, here's fifty dollars. I guess you, like, take the ukulele off your back and play it. Like, actually is an instrumentalist. What is with one of these spikes being longer than all the others? Is it gonna grow into a mighty tree one day? Here we are. I remember this very distinctly. There's a part in one of the Harry Potter games that looks shockingly similar to this. And I believe I mentioned it while we were playing said Harry Potter game. Also, gotta be some of the best music. Simply must be. <laughs> nice sun behind you. It's a cool angle. Cinematic. Those frogs were pretty poggers. Look at the piss! It's piss! Nice. Incredibly fucking relaxing, nostalgic music. This is like, they just made a vaporwave track in the game. It's part of the fucking OST, unaltered vapor- VAPORWAVE! I think this is a part where I, like, need a bottle. Soon. Bing! Alright. Let's have a chat with- Oh. I don't know, this usually gets people- gets me on people's good side. Didn't seem like it did anything, though. Okay. Clearly, I don't know this song very well. But now the bongo's coming. Oh, hello, this is like the high dive guy, right? Diving game. Wanna play? Sure. Okay! Okay! Tap, tap, tap. Uh, pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You only have a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. Very nice. Okay. <sighs> Start! Whee! Oh, I like the extra, like the cinematic dive too. That's good. Alright, go over here. Uh, I wish I could see my shadow. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Now go left. Fuck you. Ah, the swim controls suck. Swimming controls suck. Okay, never mind. Swimming controls are great. 
Hey, congratulations. I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it. <clears throat> I'm glad this game does not have, like, Shadow of the Colossus tier controls. This is not the right way. At all. Is it? Here we go. <clears throat> okay. What do you got for me? Heart piece? This is probably gonna be my first heart piece of the game. What a graceful dive. Now please, take this. This is a scale. Oh. Nice! Oh, th no, this is like fucking critical progression shit. Hell yeah. The silver scale. So, uh, is this just diving game? Oh, I love when the camera goes underwater and goes... Do I need to, like, light some torches here, or what? I think we'll probably save and come back to this, uh, next stream. Folks, it's a good place to stop. How about- oh, wait. Uh... Hmm. I don't know if this is a thing. Kinda looks like it's too far. Rolling puts it out, though. Come on. Yeah! Now save the stick. Nice. I don't know what this does, but it presumably does something. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. And then... Oh, I gotta bring one under the water, it looks like. I like these little fishies swimming around, too. Oh, they get out of your way! It's like Call of Duty Ghosts, dude! Uh, what? Okay. Oh no, there's one there too. This is fun. <laughs> oh shit. Don't get it. Don't let it touch the waterfall. You're kidding me. You're kidding me that that wasn't a better 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 moment. What a joke. Is there more? Huh? I think there might have been some torches I missed or something. What the fuck? Wow, that sucked. Okay. There must be something to do there. Uh, what is... Uh, maybe this guy will talk about it. Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family. What do you want from us? Okay. Let's poke our heads in here. Is this the bitch princess's room? No, this is a shop. I assume the torches that I lit before had, like, burnt out or something. If it's something different, do let me know. I want to buy a fish, but they're a little expensive. Yeah, they're probably like 200 rupees or something. Welcome! Yeah, literally 200 rupees! Literally exactly 200 rupees! What did I say? Did I fucking stutter? It's like, can I give you- I can't hold that much money. Can I give you 99 rupees now, and then come back and give you, like, most of the rest later, and then come back again and give you two rupees to top it off? Good god. Okay. Bruh. Literally bruh, dude. I have to light them all with the same Deku stick. What? When you light a torch, it resets the Deku Stick's health. Okay, okay, I get it. That is fucking dumb and weird. Thank you for explaining that, because that is in fact fucking dumb and weird. 
why on the name- why in the name of fucking sacred hell would lighting a torch with the stick extend the stick's life? <clears throat> like, why? Actually, why? Come on, there you go. Almost fumbled it right at the end. Okay, put that away. We're never gonna lose a Deku stick in the whole goddamn game, because I'm never gonna do like the jumping attack strat with it. Kinda loud in here, eh? <clears throat> Alright. There is my first actual piece of art, I think. Wonderful! You are close! Alright. Now... Let's go in here, I guess. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's talk to this guy. Can I swim to that little, like, door down there now? I think I can. But I don't know what's in there. Rah! We are good at diving. How about you? If you want to be a master diver, try the diving game. Yes, I've tried it. I whooped its ass. I was a god at the diving game. See, you only have limited movement from side to side when diving. Oh no, with the scale, maybe it makes it a little better. Okay, nice. Oh, this just takes you out here. Right. I remember now. Oh, look. Is this like their sacred... This is the thing that guy's looking for, right? Yeah. Nice. Empty bottle with a message in it. Like a link bobbing awkwardly up and down here. I thought that was a piece of heart. Alright, uh... Talk to him. No, talk! Speak! Have you seen anything strange? The river carries many things into this lake. <clears throat> Do I get to keep? Hold on. There's something in the bottle. Message in a bottle, yeah. I can't, like, okay. Let's maybe read it? Or just go back to Zora Town. Such a jank looking bottle. Huh? It looks like there's something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, Rudo. How, who the fuck delivered this message? I guess it floated downstream. She like made him regurgitate it. What the fuck? Okay. Let me let me poke around Zora Village just a little bit more. Cause I feel like I'm so close to finding Jabu Jabu. He's like in the room behind the Zora King, right? So maybe she said don't tell my father, but I think that might be like some fucking You actually do have to tell her father. So that you can go, uh so that you can go weep, 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 weep. And thanks for the piss, Lark. Thank you for the piss. Love peeing. Love pooping. Love pissing and shitting. Are, are you, uh, Lark? Have you seen? Have you seen this guy? I think you would like this guy. He's pretty fucking powerful, and he's about to do something amazing. Where has she gone? Oh. Can I show him the letter, maybe? Here we go. Oh, this letter! It's from Princess Ruto! There's also a Vor dungeon incoming. Yeah, he, he does scoot. In speedruns of this game, when he scoots, people will go like, Oppa! 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 Whenever he goes, Weep! 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 A little green around the gills. Is that a term that people use? Like, to describe fish? Because I feel like I've heard that before. Green around the gills. A very specific turn of phrase. You don't get to use it very much. Hell yeah. Scoot, 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 scoot. 
Yeah! <laughs> it's like such a comical scene. Weep, 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 weep. This is good shit. And we're coming up right on the part where I got stuck for a long time, too. Because I, like, couldn't figure out what to do, and I, like, dropped the game for a super long time and then came back to it. <laughs> Legendary cutscene. Legendary. Haven't speedrunners found a way to clip past this guy, though, right? I seem to remember hearing that, and it was, like, a big deal because it saved a lot of time. <laughs> Well, I mean, now with glitches, you can fucking beat Ocarina of Time in, like, a second. Good. There he is. He's sleeping. Zora's Fountain. <laughs> so, what you need to fucking do here is you need to go into the water around this guy, I believe, and find a fish and, like, catch a fish in the bottle. Or maybe I need to do it in Zora's Domain. There was that one part where fish are walking around and they're swimming around in a part of the water that you can walk in. I bet that's what I gotta do. I don't see any fishies here. But you have to catch a fucking minuscule fish and hold it up in front of him in a jar. Hey! Yeah, I know I have bombs. Fuck you. I, that's not even probably what she was saying. Listen. It seems Princess Rudo somehow got inside Jabu Jabu's belly. Thanks! Thanks, Navi. That's why everybody hates you, Navi. Is for shit hints like that. Oh. Literal dog shit tear hint. Is this like a shortcut back into... No, this is another fairy fountain. Holy shit. We've been finding so many of these. Is this the last one? What the fuck? Damn. We just keep finding these. <laughs> and here's the fucking uncomfortable laugh. They all have, like, different sexy poses that they go into. Hey, ya uh, fucking abuba. Hey, ya uh, fucking abuba. They look like Gerudos, by the way. I always thought they looked like Gerudos. Welcome, smell. <laughs> I'll give you a magic smell. I mean, spell. Take a sniff of this. All right, this has got to be the teleportation. Ferrore's wind. This is warp magic you can use with C. Warp when you are in danger. Yeah. This one was weird. I, I feel like I only used this near the end of the game with like the final fight to get rid of the walking time to the beginning of the fight with every attempt because I took like a million attempts. Okay. You can only use it in dungeons that have a map. So, like, only major dungeons. <laughs> Freaks me out every time. Was the fire green in all of them, actually? I thought the first one had, like, red fire or something, but maybe I'm just wrong. Literally, literally wrong. Literally wrong. Literally wrong. Okay, so I must have found that in my first playthrough because, uh... I remember having that spell. See if I can get these fish. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna go into Zora's domain. Because we've had two in a row that had green fire now. Is all why I ask. What is? This is just this. Oh, is that a sculptula? Huh. I think I would need the hook shot for that, right? to actually retrieve the token from it. Um, so now, let's just quickly poke our heads back in Zora's domain. Oh wait, that's this way. And then, I feel like, is this waterfall visible from anywhere else, too? I feel like it must be. 
but I don't know what. Let's go catch fish. Bruh. <clears throat> so let's go down here. There is one place right here where there are fish swimming around. Swipe one of them up. There you go. Is that... Okay, I, <laughs> you got some water. Lake water. Drink it. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to... Yep. 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 Like, do you think at a certain point they should, could have just said, you can equip it like literally every other item in the entire video game, right? It doesn't seem that ridiculous that they could have done that. Doesn't he, like, he, like, dumps the fish out on the ground in front of Jabu Jabu, and Jabu Jabu still doesn't eat it, right? Let's see. I'm, I'm curious. I'm very curious to see what happens here. I like how the note, whatever note was playing when you leave that area, like, pauses for a few seconds. Um, okay, are we in a good spot to do this? So that was the thing that I could not figure out how to do, or to do, just that I needed to do it. Look at that bullshit. Oh, he did eat the little fish! He ate the tiny, 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 tiny fish that literally is like a fucking molecule to his size. I was all wrong. It's still fucking bullshit. But the one thing that I got wrong about that is that he does technically eat the fucking fish. Oh. <laughs> and now I think his mouth is just open, yeah. He technically eats the fucking tiny, tiny, insignificant, it is nothing compared to his size fish. He does eat it. I still think that's a pretty fucking bullshit moment, honestly. I think I need to kill these guys in order to do that. Okay. This dungeon we will do next time, though. Let's save now that we're in the belly of the beast. And get out of here. And I will see you guys later. Balls, 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 balls. Yeah, I've seen like the master quest part of this area where it's all like fucked up. It's like the last, it's like the secret last level of Wario Land 2, strangely enough. But uh, yeah, fun game. I'm still enjoying myself. <clears throat> it's nice to not have moments where I run around doing absolutely fucking nothing for hours on end and then drop the game for three months and then come back to it and go, oh, that was fucking bullshit. It's the benefit of a second playthrough. <laughs> And I guess if even if I do get stuck, chat can help me, you know? But yeah, next stream will probably be either Reviews, Isaac, or Pokemon Snap. I have yet to decide. There will not be another stream tonight, I don't think. Uh, so don't look forward to it. Look forward to it tomorrow. And Lark Souls, or Blark, Blarkborn episode this Sunday... No other videos this weekend besides that, because we're getting back on schedule with the whole fucking Blarkborn thing. Thanks for watching, everybody.